hey everyone, how are you guys doing? I'm sure uh, आप लोगों ने पढ़ा होगा कि uh, you know कल government the cabinet has uh, somewhere given assent to the idea that uh, the marriageable age the marriageable age of uh, the bride will be increased from 18 to 21. It is a major, major decision which will have a huge amount of not only political implication but social uh, and ethical uh, implications as well. Right? I will try and give you a preliminary idea uh, about this entire issue. I'll give you a historical background of it as well and would also try and highlight uh, certain, certain implications wherever possible. All right? तो आओ जरा सा साथ में कुछ जानने की कोशिश करी जाए। Now you know child marriage as a phenomenon. If you see right, it seems to have been in India in vogue at least from around 700 CE. Right? इसके पहले भी इसके कहीं कहीं पर बच्चे हम लोगों को uh, literary evidences milte hain. from around 700 CE uh, the proportion of child marriages somewhere starts going up reason uh, primarily uh, you know with the incoming concept of private ownership land ownership womb and property were equated somewhere and both were to be owned to ensure that my land a male's land it passes to the uh, appropriate ear which is a true born you get the point right so for that the sexuality of the female needs to be curbed isn't it she should not be given a lot of uh, uh, opportunities of sexual escape. And pre-puberty marriages, they become quite a phenomenon. After 1200 CE, with the coming of the Turks, this phenomena, especially in North India, increases. Because a lot of Hindus, they start marrying off their daughters because they're scared that these foreign invaders may abduct or rape them. That also leads to an increase in child marriages, number of child marriages. The sad realities, right? The sad realities, how it became so acceptable. Even now, it is very acceptable to us. If you look around carefully, you will notice several examples. You would be horrified to know this probably that uh, as of now, as we speak, 27% of women, one fourth, they are child brides. My mother, she was. Right, you get the point, you get the point. So, uh, Even now, right, even now, if you, if you look at it, especially the Hindi belt, right, the so-called Hindi belt, we notice a lot of, uh, you know, uh, persistence of this problem, right? In the year, in the pandemic year, again, again, very fascinating, fascinating and, uh, you know, deadly as well. Dreadful as well. In the pandemic year, there's a spike in number of child marriages. Khali bete hain to kya kare? Beti ki shaadi hi kar dete. Right? Very, 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 very you know, uh, interesting. Highest spike seems to be coming from Karnataka. Right? So the problem is alive, the problem is right alive in front of us. 
इट इज नॉट यू नो फ्रॉम दी डेज ऑफ प्लीज रिमेंबर ये सती के जमाने की बात नहीं है दिस इज अ प्रॉब्लम विच वी आर फेसिंग राइट नाउ एज वी स्पीक जो मैरिज लॉज है बेटे ये तमाम धर्म अपने वर्चस्व में रखते हैं दिस इज हाउ दे ट्राई एंड कंट्रोल योर पर्सनल लाइफ वेदर इट इज हिंदुइज्म इस्लाम सिखिज्म और क्रिश्चियनिटी और सो मेनी अदर्स दे ऑल हैव स्पेसिफिक रूल्स of whom you can marry whom you cannot marry at what time you should be married what is ideal type of marriage in vedas itself there are around eight categories of uh, uh, you know marriages brahma vivah deva vivah shach vivah fascinating right uh, but, but the point is ki ye sare jo personal laws hain इनके सबके अपने अलग अलग लॉज हैं दैट इज ऑल्सो वॉट मेक्स दिस सिचुएशन वेरी वेरी कॉम्प्लेक्स इन नॉर्थ इंडिया वी ऑल्सो नोटिस यू नो आई एम फ्रॉम नॉर्थ इंडिया आई कम फ्रॉम दैट हिंदी बेल्ट विच आई स्पीकिंग अबाउट राइट वी हैव दिस आइडिया ऑफ गौना माई एल्डेस्ट सिस्टर i distinctly remember right gona ek hota hai shaadi pehle ho jati hai jab bacche bahut chote hote and when after few years then after few years when it is time to consummate the marriage when the girl reaches the age of fertility puberty at that point of time he gone out that right british interventions i think this is where you should be looking at it from the perspective of uh, uh, questions in your examination right wo to maine tumhe ek social aspect samjhane ki koshish kari thi ye british interventions hain jinhone law ke through यू नो महिलाओं के हालात पर कुछ एक्शन लेने की कोशिश करें राइट स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम ऑफ कोर्स द बेंगोल सती रेगुलेशन बेंगोल सती रेगुलेशन इन एटीन हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी नाइन गर्ट से राजा राम मोहन रॉय एंड विलियम बेंटे जब इन्होंने सती प्रथा को रोक दिया राजा राम मोहन रॉय यू वुड बी सरप्राइज टू नो दिस ये बेटा शमशान घाट में जा जा करके परिवार जनों को स्त्री के समझाते थे रोकते थे एंड ही वुड कोट वेदास वेरी वेरी फैसिनेटिंग पर्सन राजा राम मोहन रॉय 1829 के बाद बेटे हम लोग को पता चलता है कि हिंदू विडो रीमैरिज एक्ट 1856 के साल में पास किया जाता है अगर आप उन्हें सती नहीं करने दे रहे हो देन दे शुड बी गिवन सर्टेन ऑप्शन ठीक है हम तुम्हें मरने नहीं देंगे जल के लेकिन द एंटायर सोशल बॉयकॉट ऑस्ट्रोसाइजेशन वुड कंटिन्यू विधवाओं का बड़ा बुरा हाल I'm sure if you see some movies of 60s and 70s, even 80s, probably you would notice कि किस तरह से विधवा को represent किया जाता था. Their head would be torso. I mean, you know, would be shamed. They would not be allowed to attend any, you know, auspicious occasion. अशुभ माना जाता. धीरे धीरे कुछ बहुत खूबसूरत प्यारे सज्जन लोगों ने बेटा केशव चंद्र सेन ईश्वर चंद्र विद्यासागर इन लोगों ने धीरे धीरे समाज में परिवर्तन लाने की कोशिश करी एंड देन ब्रिटिशर्स आल्सो इंटरवीन अंडर लॉर्ड क्या नहीं एंड ही हैड द हिंदू विडो रीमैरिज एक्ट पास्ट 
another very very fascinating law the next step in this sequence is something which we should be directly focusing upon this is the age of consent act 1891 it had a huge background it had a huge background Right? It had a huge background. This is where your Rukma Bai case also happened. I will try and give you that you know, context. At this point of time, Lansdowne, Lord Lansdowne was the Viceroy. And this act, Age of Consent Act, it increased the age of consent for sexual intercourse from 10 years old to 12 years old. Sexual intercourse but she should be at least 12. This is the essence of the law. Isn't it? Finally, in 1929, an act which is called as a child marriage. Restraint Act 1929, also known as the Sharda Act, was passed. Inko jisne sponsor kiya tha, Imperial Legislative Council ke the member who, uh, you know, sponsored this bill. He was called as Harbilas Sharda and hence the name Sharda Act. And it categorically said that the marriageable age for female will be 14 and for men it should be 18, right? As I was talking about, right, the background. Uh, it is in this context that you should understand a couple of uh, developments, right? Uh, Behram Ji Malabari, this guy, he was a Parsi poet and a social reformer, right? He was one of a huge supporter. He became one of the huge supporter of age of consent. And he, uh, you know, he went against Bal Gangadhar Tilak. And this, this, this led to massive discussion in media. You know, uh, 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 let me let me take you a couple, you know, a couple of steps back, and then I'll also maybe speak about this. Uh, you know, uh, the actual, you know, if you need to understand the context of this Age of Consent Act, eighteen ninety one, uh, I'd say I think uh, one hundred and thirty years back. Right? So, uh, you need to understand a couple of stories. One is that of Rukma Bai. Right? Rukma Bai, which went on, she was actually a child bride. She was actually a child bride. This is, this is the Google Doodle celebrating her achievements. She went on to become the first female doctor from South Asia. First female doctor from South Asia. She was a child bride, Dr. Rukma Bai. From 1884 to 88, she was involved fighting the case against her husband. Her husband was demanding that she should come back to his house and their marriage should be consummated. They should be allowed to have sexual intercourse. She has been married when she was very, very young. But the, you know, the husband in question was an absolute loser. Finally, uh, you know, the entire uh, situation became very big. She even wrote a petition to Queen Victoria and some sources claim that Queen Victoria directly intervened in this case, right? Uh, uh, 
right so this is the uh, you know her case was fought by a person uh, his name is kt telang a very interesting person again very interesting person again a social reformer right another very interesting case which happened was empress versus hari mohan maithi in 1889, this fellow who was 30 years old at this point of time, he married a 10 year old girl called as Pulmoni Das, a Bengali. And he tried to have sexual intercourse on the wedding night. The kid died. The kid died. And uh, that somewhere shook everyone. That somewhere shook everyone. Because marital rape at that point of time was not a crime. And she was married. So this fellow just got 12 months of sentence. And a lot of people were furious. A lot of people were furious. And finally, in 1891, Age of Consent Act was uh, passed. It, it is over this issue that Behramji, Malabari and Tilak were against each other. Behramji believed that this reform is a must. Tilak, on the other hand, said, that reform will come later. First, I want my Swaraj. He said that these Britishers, they have no right to interfere here. This is our matter. We know what is wrong with it. We'll correct it in our own way. This is how he thought. Right or wrong? Make your own decision. Make your own decision, right? Uh, Tilak also split up over this issue with Mr. G. G. Agarkar, another very fascinating reformer from Maharashtra. Very fascinating uh, social reformer from Maharashtra, a huge feminist. G. G. Agarkar. He also was supporting this bill just like Malabari. Okay, 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 moving on. Right? So this was a marital rape, Pulmani Das. And as a result, the guy was not able to get uh, any serious punishment. And thus, Age of Consent Act was passed, which said that for sexual intercourse, you need to, whether the girl is married or not, doesn't matter. The girl must be 12 to give the express consent. A consent taken before 12th birthday is useless. The implication, that's the implication, isn't it? At this stage, I think uh, uh, it will be important and interesting to know, uh, 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 you know, contribution of a very fascinating lady. भारत की फेमिनिज्म की जब बात होती है बेटे तो इनके बिना वो बात अछूती है कैसे आओ जानने की कोशिश करते हैं दिस दिस फीमेल इज कॉल्ड एज मार्गरेट एलिजाबेथ कजिन्स आल्सो नोन एज ग्रेटा कजिन्स राइट दिस इज हर पिक्चर एंड दिस इज शी विद हर हस्बैंड James Henry Cousins, right? Uh, both came to India in 1915 and they stayed in India and died in India, right? And they became, uh, I mean, in fact, the husband, he converted to Hinduism and adopted the name Jaya Ram. His pen name became Jaya Ram, right? And uh, good fellows, good fellows, interesting fellows. Uh, so let's try and some some very good contributions as well. So uh, let's let's focus, right? So th this this female is from Ireland, right? 
she see she's an educationist suffragist what's a suffragist she fought for female voting rights and she's a theosophist what does that mean that means she belonged to the theosophical society of india ran by annie besant so she was in touch ireland she was in touch with with any besant right she is known for establishing two important organizations right one women's indian association where annie besant become the president and she also established this is more important aiwc all india women's conference it is a delhi based ngo established in 1927 she fought for female rights within india the awakening of asian womenhood so definitely a female with a lot of vision and a sense of the larger picture isn't it uh so uh, you know uh, in this context you know please understand all the work which she is doing and a lot of other ladies as well but she is considered to be one of the most important prominent one right margaret uh, uh, cousins or greta cousins so in one bit you have you know she created a lot of awareness around child marriage she said that you know the, the, the uh, age needs to be further increased right the government established a committee the government established a committee this committee referred the you know uh, uh, this committee analyzed the entire act child marriage restraint act right or the sharada act she margaret cousins she went to this uh, meeting she spoke on the behalf of Indian women, made a very strong case, made a very strong case. This is, by the way, Harbilas Sharada. This is the guy who sponsored the bill. That means he's the person who somewhere introduced the bill in the legislative council. Other key people, other key people who were also involved in the committee work, right? who finalized the bill were Moropant Joshi and one very interesting fellow, our court Ramasami Mudalyar. Who Mudalyar? You ask, right? Here, who is he? I'll tell you. This is a very fascinating fellow. Mudalyar was the divan of Travancore. Mudalyar is the divan of Travancore, right? He was also a member of legislative council, and he also supported this bill in a critical manner. Later on, in 1945, when United Nations will be established, they will establish six principal organs. One of them will be ECOSOC. ECOSOC. This is for economic and social cooperation. This is the most important organization of United Nations as we speak. Uske first chairman kon the jante ho? Ye the. Mudaliyar. Right? Very interesting fellow. Not only this, he went on to become the first chairman of ICICI Bank. In 1955, when it was established, Joski parent thi, mujhe bani thi ICICI. He, Mudalyar, was the first chairman. Dhyan rakhna. Kahi na kahi se in baaton ko ghuma ghuma ke hi poocha jayega. Right? So this is why I am trying to include certain other details as well. 
In 1949, once you know, India, of course, yeah, right? It became independent in uh, 1947. <laughs> Sorry. So, in 1949, uh, uh, your uh, India, in 1947, once India became independent, right? Uh, in 1949, uh, you know, certain amendment was done to Sharda Act. Amendment was done to Sharda Act. Abhi kya kiya gaya bache? Jo chaudha kar diya gaya tha na? Right? Usse pandrah kar diya gaya. 1929 mein, they had done it 14 and 18. Now, they are doing it 15 and 18. In 1978, 18 kar diya gaya aur 21 kar diya gaya. लड़कियों की उम्र 18 कर दी गई शादी की और लड़कों के लिए 21 कर दी गई दीज व टू अमेंडमेंट्स टू शारदा एक्ट व्हिच हैपेंड द थर्ड इज इन द लाइन व्हिच विल मेक इट 21 एंड 21 फॉर बोथ द जेंडर्स सो दिस विल बी इट फ्रॉम माय साइड एंड you on the other side. Bye.